I'm about to check out this video from Brett Cooper. It's talking about TV show dads, and everybody knows I'm a TV show expert, so I'm going to probably have a lot to say about this. But if you want to watch the full video uninterrupted by me, go and check out Brett Cooper, man. People always said that she looked like Ben Shapiro. I never saw it till a few months ago. I, I definitely see it now. I see it now, without a doubt. Yeah, that's, that's Ben. That's Ben. That, that, that could be his sister. That this can have on women from, you know, the promiscuous characters or how feministy all the shows are. Or like yesterday where I was talking about Kylie Jenner and the impact that that can have on women's body images and all of that. But today... We are talking about men because you guys deserve an episode because television shows are also hurting you. And this is actually one of the reasons why I was not allowed to watch 99% of television growing up. Before we get into this, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never yeah, miss a comment a section or off the clock episode. This tweet sparked the entire... There's a storm coming <laughs> everywhere, it looks like episode i saw it over the weekend i despise this idea that men are just so dumb i see it portrayed on tv all the time and it's a common theme of jokes oh 100 percent. like if you didn't know that like, most of the tv shows back in the 90s were like super pro feminism oh, and it was inflicting it and part of that was to show that the male figures were idiots and that the women were the smartest ones in the, on the planet um look at home improvement a show that i thought was like super manly and when you rewatch it as an adult it's like whoa this is super feminist it's a super woke feminist show. Home Improvement? Psh, it's called Home Improvement. That's not a, that's a, like a double entendre. It's, they think that the woman being the lead of the household was the improvement. We rewatch a few episodes. <laughs> I bet you, bro, you're going to be like, whoa, this shit was really, really like hateful towards men. It's among girls, just true, sadly. They are not Big dumb. Facts. That's what they want you to think. They know exactly what they're doing. Don't be delusional. I like the first part of that tweet. I think at the end, this girl is just bitter and she's actually thinking yes, that men are terrible yes. and manipulative. That's kind of how I read it. But the first part of that tweet is very important. The founder of EV Magazine, who I love, and you guys should read that magazine, follow them if you do not already. They're like the new cosmopolitan. Her name is Brittany, and she quote tweeted this and said, this is why I stopped watching the majority of television years ago. Once you see it, you can't stop. I am tired of the, quote, stupid husband trope that you see in sitcoms like King of Queens or Modern Family or the total idiot father in Disney Channel shows. Give me Hercules going into the underworld to save his woman or William Wallace avenging his love. To be fair, I love Modern Family. I think it's a very funny sitcom. Later seasons, not so much. But like the beginning, the core years was very funny. And I know that people are talking about Phil Dunphy. And he is funny, but he is sort of a fool. We do have to admit that. However... He participates in his family. This is, you know, we can't have all the Phil Dunphy slander. He participates in his family. He loves his children like no other. He is a very, very active father, even though he could be a little clueless. And that is a lot better than the majority of male characters. Come on, and he is yeah. Yeah, that's a good, accurate description. Even though I think that he's one of the most loving fathers on TV. You're talking about from Modern Family. That's an underrated woke show, right? It's, just, it's a woke show that's funny to some degree, but it is pretty woke. And I do think that a lot of people don't notice how woke it is. That's what I meant by underrated woke show, right? Maybe I should have used a different term, like maybe a uh, underhanded woke show. Because uh, I like Al Bundy. You put Al Bundy on something, I'm going to watch it. That's my guy. That's my guy. I don't even remember his real name, but Al Bundy. I mean, Al Bundy was in Little Giants, Married with Children. You throw Al Bundy in it, I'm checking it out. Man, that's just facts. That's just facts. I rocks with Al Bundy. Um, but yeah, he was like the grandfather on that show and I watched it, but the father that she's describing, yeah, yeah, he was like a bumbling fool, but he was the most loving person on the show probably. And the mom was definitely super over the top, woke feminist, super over the top. He could be a little clueless and that is a lot better than the majority of male characters out there because he actually is a committed family man, even if he is just a goofball. Yeah, Somebody said, I feel like this possibly started. But like, I like laughing at woke people. So it's like. When these crazy out of the world things happen to these woke people, it's funny. Like the father, he's a goofball. So he's like literally fumbling down the stairs on a regular basis. And eventually you'll probably be like, okay, why does he have to be such a goofball? But he has good like character traits some, to some degree. Started with the honeymoon. Like a lot of the things that you would see in most of the, like the mother type of things, right? He's more of a like a, he has more of a mothering nature, loving nature, super supportive. Right. And the mother is like kind of the one that acts like the TV show dads like from back in the 80s. That show was such a hit that everybody copied that husband wife dynamic. 
Another person said, this trend began to emerge in the late 80s and early 90s. It was a novelty at first. Look at that wacky dad. He is so funny. But now, guys, in 2023, that is just the norm. And you cannot... I don't even think the honeymooners had a kid, right? I used to like the honeymooners. <laughs> One of these days, man. One of these days, right to the moon. Tell me that it has not had an impact both on men and male-female relationships. My man used to say that to his wife on every episode and no one ever took it serious, man. I miss those days. <laughs> well, you could just say a joke. My man would tell his wife every day, whatever she got smart with her mouth. One of these days, man. <laughs> one of these days. Mm, right to the moon. Right to the moon. One of these days, nigga. I'm going <laughs> to lose my restraint. Um, but of course he wasn't serious because he would end every drink with like telling her how much he loved her because she would do something to save him. Right? Like, oh well, I I hid the money before you was dumb enough to spend it on lottery tickets or some stupid shit like that. One person said, They want men to expect less of themselves. They want boys to grow up thinking that they can be a goof and still get a decent job and a wife who's out of their league. Now, to be clear, I like the first Damn. part of that tweet because I do think that that is what they're trying to teach men. But I love a goof. You just have to be a competent goof. You right. cannot be an idiot. You must be able to emotionally support your partner and be yeah, stable. You cannot just be off in La La Land 24-7. That's the point. But silly guys, don't worry. We all love you. We love a guy who makes us laugh. Anyway, another person said, in order to exalt the image of one gender, they attempt to degrade the image of another. Act That's big facts. Like I've made all my previous partners cry from laughter. I can be proud of that. <laughs> like I, I think I'm pretty silly and funny. Um, it adds to my charm. Um, it's something beneficial. Sometimes I, I, I guess in the past, I took it as more of an insult, I guess. Like, I didn't want to be the funny guy. But without me even trying, I was the funny guy because I'm charismatic. In just day-to-day -day conversation, I'm sounding like I'm, I'm roasting everyone. And people enjoy being around that. So um, I take pride in that. Actually, both genders have specific yet different attributes that should be celebrated and promoted. <laughs> Isn't that just a controversial? take isn't that crazy that men and women are different and we both have strengths and weaknesses and neither one of us should be stereotyped and portrayed as idiots 24 7 crazy oh my god now i started doing some research on this because i wanted to know if this was just kind of like a my family thing that my mom had identified or if you know people <laughs> elsewhere off of twitter were talking about it there were literally three tiktoks about this one yeah, of them had more views day. but everything else was just like a couple guys talking one of these days, one of these days, pow, right to the moon, son. It really didn't get much traction. They were kind of talking about some Simpsons characters, but, you know, really not a lot of information out there. I also was trying to find some articles, and there have not been any articles written about this in the last few years. Like, I think that 2015, 2016 was the last article that I saw. And is this just because we're so used to this now? Like, it's so commonplace to see men portrayed as bumbling idiots, so we're not even writing about it anymore or discussing it. Is this because women have won? To bring Barbie into this, because I know we're also thinking about Barbie, like, are we... <sighs> I hated that movie. I think she liked it, though. But I I couldn't stand Barbie. It was the ending. Like, I got everything they were trying to do, the role reversal, all of that, metaphors, yes, yes, yes. Even the extremism point that they were hitting on, I get it. But the the right decision would have been compromised. Like that, that would have been the best ending. Not let's trick the kins and then just do the switcheroonie, right? Um, what the fuck? What kind of point are you trying to, are you saying that's what we need to do in society? Like <laughs> trick people? Like that's crazy. How about we just have a conversation and come to a conclusion together? He's fully in matriarchal Barbie land and everybody's happy with the bumbling idiot Ken's just being an accessory 24 seven. Like, is that what we have gotten to? Like the most significant article that I found about this was from 2010. It was from the Daily Mail. Why does TV love to portray men as idle, feckless idiots? And this author wrote, a casual contempt for men, especially fathers, has crept into much that is pumped out of the small box. It's there in TV comedies, from the character of the feckless father, Frank, and Shameless, to Ben, the plain, stupid dentist dad in my family, and even Pete Brockman, the ineffectual man of the house in Outnumbered. And then because she has daughters, she wrote a lot about this and said, when my two-year-old grows up, I want her to have high expectations of the men she meets. I want them to be capable of living up to those expectations. As the mother of a young daughter, I want to shout at the TV when I see fathers routinely portrayed as villains or idiots. Yes! Like, I feel like this woman and my mother would be very, very good friends because this is one of the things my mom taught me. Hmm. You guys are in charge, and I'm ignore that because that's promotion. My sister asked my five-year-old daughter if she wanted to see the movie Barbie. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not for kids. Barbie movie's not for kids at all. And she gave her nasty face and was like, ew, no, smart girl. I was like, girl, 
No, thank you. <laughs> you mean then my sister asked me. That's funny. If I wanted to see it with her and I was like, ew, no, that's funny. That's like my little cousin said something similar like that. She also tried to roast me saying she don't like my music, but my little four-year-old cousin was like, uh, <laughs> what's a Barbie? <laughs> I don't want that. No, I don't want that. I want a Chucky doll. Who the hell showed her Chucky? That shit be, it's, it's so confusing. <laughs> I blame my little brother. Like he told me, that's what she want to watch. No, nigga. You put on a cartoon. That's what she want to watch. That's creepy as hell. And when I look at her, she be like, yeah, trying to scare me. I'm like, what's wrong with you, girl? Yeah, she has a really like dark sense of humor already, man. Well, a little adorable, smart self. But yeah, fam. Hell no. Barbie is trash. The movie. I don't know about the toys. I'm going to have to take your word for it if anyone played with them. I saw someone say that Barbie was Black Panther for feminists. Yeah. That's, that's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I cannot argue with that. For Barbie? Yeah. Yes, it was the Black Panther. Wakanda, it was Wakanda forever for feminists. Especially due to the fact that the ending, when they did the switcheroonie trick, like, oh my. Everything else would have made sense. If they didn't do that ending, right? And they rewrote it to where the Barbies and the Kins, they had a meeting and they figured out, okay, let's compromise. Right? Because the Barbie tried to make it seem like Long story short, let me just break it down. Barbie, she doesn't feel right. Ken, she ignores Ken. In fact, all the Barbies ignore Ken because it's all about women in this world. She goes to the real world. Ken goes to the real world with her, realizes that men can be stronger, kind of quote unquote discovers the red pill, comes back to the world, introduces the red pill to the rest of everybody. And when Barbie comes back, she's like horrified. Oh, men are in charge. What she doesn't know is that some of the females love this. Some of the females are like, oh, this shit is actually amazing. We don't have to think about certain things. Right, just knowing that my man got me, right, and I can relax and worry about other things. Yes, of course, I don't mind giving him a back rub. <laughs> he makes other things easy for me. Why would? But Barbie's like, oh, the horror, the horror. So they come up with this manipulative move where they convince the Kins to fight over her, and then while the Kins are fighting, the Barbies go to the, like the city hall and do a voting, saying that Kins can't vote and Barbies are back in charge. So instead of actually having a legitimate vote, they tricked the Kins into not even being able to vote, thus stripping the right to vote from them and telling them, eh, just get your own place. Get your own spot. This is feminist land, nigga. We in charge, bitch. Now get your kin ass up out of here unless you're going to massage our feet. And some of them was like, okay. And that's how Barbie movie ends. I'm not even going to tell you the part about Margaret Robbie, whatever her name is, because if it ain't Harley Quinn, I don't want to hear it. Give a damn about anything she got to do besides Harley Quinn, man. I did like her in Wolf of Wall Street too as well, but she pretty much played Harley Quinn. Like it was the same, almost same accent and anything. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> Barbie movies trash. I had to tell you guys so you can have background. Told me when I would, you know, come home from a friend's house and you know, would have watched some sitcom and she would watch some of it with me. She would go, no, you're not allowed to watch this anymore. These characters are terrible. This man is an idiot. Like this family is right. not functional at all. Why would I let you watch something with Yeah, they make the father like stupid and make the mother the smartest person in the world. Such terrible values. It's not even funny because the only jokes are at the expense of this man who was supposed to be the man of the house. <sighs> This article also made an excellent point See, about some of the funny. parallels. They got a Barbie. <laughs> I thought that was funny, right? They had a Barbie called Weird Barbie. And Weird Barbie is the Barbie that someone's sibling always messes around with or cuts the hair off and does all this weird shit. And they become Weird Barbie after that and within the Barbie world. So you create Weird Barbies pretty much. And so what they do <laughs> That might be eye-opening for some feminists. Maybe you could get some empathy for this because He's she like brought up how women doll. used to be That's stereotyped crazy. and portrayed in media. You know, silly idiots, weak, incompetent. Oh, they can't drive. They can't do anything. They spend so much money. They don't know how to balance a checkbook. They're just made fun of constantly. You guys know what I'm talking about. And this is not portraying That's traditional gender roles look. because this has no respect for women or what they bring to the house. This is not like, oh, we have a nice traditional wife character and a mother character. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with being traditional, right? 
women bring a lot um, to the table as far as wifely duties and motherhood duties and womanhood duties, but without a doubt. Right? There's certain things that I know I wouldn't want to deal with. <laughs> without a nigga, I ain't trying to talk about your feelings, nigga. <laughs> Get up out of here with that. If I had a son, then don't come to me about your feelings, pimp. Go to your mom's. Come to me about that real man shit. She talking about want to learn how to break an arm in four places. Yeah? Want to learn how to throw a, a Chuck Norris kick. Break through the door. I got you. Want to know how to debate and talk crap and roast people? I'm your guy. That's pretty much where I'm, I'm at. <laughs> but I'll be able to pass along to the, to the junior. You want to roast somebody on no martial arts? No? All right, then you go talk to your mother. <laughs> nah, it's crazy. I ain't gonna be one of those fathers. Ask your mother. I'm never gonna be an ask your mother father. Nah. Character. This is literally just turning the woman I'm into joking. an idiot. This is punching down at women because it was funny. We all know what that turned into. Women got fed up. They started burning their bras. They started the F you men sexual revolution. Now look where we are. We have totally flipped yeah. the script. Now men are There's now men that's doing it. It's literally married with children all over again. Remember no ma'am? It's the No Ma'am Club with Al Bundy. This is facts. In fact, if Al Bundy was right now alive, the same age he was in Married with Children, he would have a podcast that would get millions of views. This is facts. Are the ones who are doomed to look like it. And I'll be watching that shit every time. Too. See, it's on screen. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. No wonder the men of today are struggling. No wonder they do not have good masculine role models. No wonder so many of them look towards right. the alpha red pill bros on Twitter and decide they don't want to have anything to do with women. Because they had nothing. I've been saying this shit for years. There's a few. There's a few. And even those fathers that I looked up to got neutered. Uncle Jesse neutered by the last season with the girl he had twins with um what's his name uncle phil neutered since season one aunt viv had that nigga on lock aunt viv the new one and the old aunt viv had uncle phil on lock mr feeney he got put on lock his last season the college years of a uh, boy meets world so yeah even all the people i looked up to they were simps and white knights <laughs> on tv that they didn't really have good male role models that were like manly, you no? Know? Unless he was watching wrestling or something like that. And who treat them like this, who think that this kind of media is acceptable, or that this is actually how men operate and what they believe and, you know, how they work. One person on Twitter, I guess I should actually say X now. How do I even say that? Oh, I was reading X's? That's weird. That's Yo, fam, do you know how long I was looking for Twitter on my phone before I realized the name changed to X, the logo and all? I'm like, what the hell is this? I got freaked out because I thought I had a virus. I'm like, who downloaded this on my phone? I don't remember downloading this. I don't even be on nothing. <laughs> I don't know how I would even get a virus. I'm just going to say Twitter. Anyway, he said, I find it hypocritical. It sounds like this is a response because of the negative stereotypes of women. Instead of killing the toxic stuff against women, they are just shifting it to men. Again, the pendulum went Droop! now to bring Barbie back into it. We've got to um, find the middle ground, guys. We've got to... <laughs> We've got to find the balance. Anyway, it is all about power. Another person said, yep, I allow my son to watch some Disney Channel shows that we do have a conversation about this so he knows what they are doing. And I love that both she... Oh, no, that's facts. I think the last Disney Channel show I looked at, I seen my little brothers watching uh, this joint with these two twins. Is it Liv and Maddie or something like that? Some shit with these two twins. When there's really one actress playing two different characters. But the men on that show are so stupid. I mean, I was like, there's no way, bro. There's no way. Oh, even look at uh, Wiz is a Waverly Place. The men on that show are dumb. Even the smart one. The older male brother is a fool. How the hell do you get beat by the, the dumb sister that never even practiced? Never practiced, never trained, never study. Anyway. And Brittany from Evie brought up Disney Channel because this was the thing that was most seriously banned in my house. Number one, on because all of the shows, especially in the Gen Z era, like the earlier, earlier 2000s ones, the late 90s ones, I know people have a lot of fond memories of those, but like the 2010s shows, guys, absolutely terrible. Oh, no sure. value whatsoever. They were awful. I'm up. Well, for sure, for sure. When it comes to that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even argue with that. <laughs> Niggas was getting neutered. Literally thought the only thing That's that they would do for me is kill off my brain cells. But most importantly, oh, the reason why I was banned was because of how these shows portrayed parents, especially fathers. And there are so many articles about this, again, from years ago, like this one study Disney shows dump on dad. 
Here's one for the New York Post. How Disney teaches contempt for dads. And yeah, I ain't gonna front. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, and that's my, one of my favorite shows, Boy Meets World, but Corey been a simp his whole life. Like Topanga water pants in that relationship since she threw him against the locker, my nigga. <laughs> since she threw him against the locker in junior high school, Topanga was running ish in that relationship. She just so happened to be fine as hell, but she was extremely dominant. Disney shows dump on dad. Here's one for the New York Post. How Disney teaches contempt for dads. And then here's a Reddit post where this father says, does the way Disney portrays father piss anyone else off? And then he writes, the complete lack of respect for a hardworking father was mind boggling yeah. to me. If my wife or kid said anything to me in that manner, there would be hell to pay. Why is this okay to teach our children? If what show is he talking about? James Bond's on beginning vacation. What show? Uh, Bumbling buffoons. He just talked about the whole Disney gym. <laughs> He didn't even talk about his show, but the whole channel. Yeah, I believe him too. They had Jake Paul on there. This is what our kids are learning. It is no wonder when I hang out with other parents and their kids are so disrespectful to them. <laughs> Disney and any other media outlet that helps foster this culture. The kids in Disney Channel shows were brats. And the parents were idiots with no control over their households whatsoever. The parents were always the butts of the joke. The kids were punching down on the parents. No wonder no, we have an entire... Parents is barely there in their shows. Parents is almost never there, nigga. Like, especially in Jesse. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Generation who does not. I used to be my age dying off. Jesse was I. Right. I don't think I finished it, but it was okay when it first started. Rest in peace to that dude. Uh, what was his name? Cameron. Respect their families or the values that their parents attempted to instill in them. The content that you watch has such an impact on your life, a dramatic influence on your life, on your values, your attitudes, your moods. I remember never being as cranky as I was when I would come home from a friend's house after watching Disney Channel. I was so angry at my mom. I was bitter. I was like, why are you telling me what to do? And I would like stop. Okay, uh, she must be from a different gen How old is Brad Cooper? <laughs> what is she? That's a new generation, Brad. Cooper. I ain't how the hell we felt, but then was, I guess we had better shows. Yeah, she young, young. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because my generation, man, we came home, we rushed to get home to watch Tsunami, uh, get some of that anime, that Dragon Ball Z, that Yu Haka show, what you talking about? Uh, that Trigun, that Inuyasha. We rushed home to get to the Disney Channel so we could watch Even Stevens, so we could watch uh, Even Proud Family. That's so Raven. What? Yeah, we we love that shit. Saturdays, we was home making sure we watched Snick, Keenan and Kel, all that. Amanda Show, Secret World of Alex Mack, Rissa explains it all. Are you afraid of the dark? Stop playing with me. We had some good ass TV when I was a kid, but that was like, what, 90s? Right? Like, nigga, sometimes I go back just for nostalgic purposes and rewatch some of this old shit. Are You Afraid of the Dark is still a, a bunch of bangers, bro. This is facts. That's Twilight Zone ready. <laughs> Are You Afraid of the Dark? The old Nickelodeon scary TV show for kids. Still to this day, when I go back and look at some old episodes, is still top of the line, bro. Still to this day. I still watch episodes like, this is a good ass episode right here. Especially the one with that, that weird doctor. Was it Dr. Room or whatever? The one that did like magic and weird shit. Um, but yeah, I can understand, I guess, from her generation. Yeah, I didn't know she was that young. She was 21. Whoa. Stop off to my room. And that is literally when I would get in trouble the most as like a tween. I also, as an adult, recognize that if I... I like her hair too. I just noticed that. She does this like weird thing with this on the sides. Pretty cool. I spend too much time binging a trash television show when I've had a long day and I want to turn my brain off versus reading a book or just going to bed or maybe watching something that's well written. My vocabulary Hilarious. suffers. My brain cells literally die because I'm putting crap into my brain. My brain! Oh. Play. Yeah, that was dope. That was a fake version of Wild and Crazy Kids though. <laughs> what? That was my shit. Wild and Crazy Kids. When I was a kid, I used to wish that I could go to like the, uh, what's the name? Nickelodeon Studios. Wild and Crazy Kid was a show where they let three main hosts, right? Some teenagers. They host a, a show where they pick different colors and the kids that come into the audience, they get to like, I guess, pick whatever team they're going to be on and they compete in just a bunch of competitions all day. And the team that wins, I think they get something or whatever, but the hosts get to pick and represent a different team. That black kid never won. His team sucked every Episode. I think he won like one time. 
one time his team pulled off the victory and I was hype. I'm like, finally, this nigga is, yeah, what's up with all his kids? <laughs> all the kids that play for his team is trash. I think that's what it is. It's because we all watched it, right? So the kids would go there and be like, we don't want to be on his team because he sucks. And then everyone would go on the other teams. I used to love that. Wild and crazy kids. Are afraid of the dark holds up still. Yep. That trash pool monster still scared. Yeah, that's crazy. A lot of me. So yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. What scared me from all your favorite dog was the vampire that came out the, the TV. Who that shit used to scare the hell out of me. The vampire that comes out the TV, uh like he come out in slow motion, pointing his pointing his fingernails at you. And I say that because I talk to a lot of parents about you know, the media that they let their children consume and being very, figure you know. it out. Yeah. I like figuring it out. That was classic. Guts. Global guts. Legend of the Hidden Temple. Didn't they bring that shit back? It was garbage. It was garbage as hell. But yeah, I used to love that Legends of the Hidden Temple. All of them old school Nickelodeon shows, man. All of them shits. They had the best everything. And then Disney Channel, once I started going towards like teenager, Disney Channel came and took over. That's when they had like the Even Stevens and Flash Forward, Lizzie McGuire, The Jersey, which everyone forgets. That used to be my favorite show. The Jersey. So weird. That was like the introduction to Supernatural show. If I never watched So Weird, I would never watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And it wasn't, it wasn't much of a difference, like as far as timing. Like I think after I watched So Weird, and I got into like the supernatural stuff. I started getting heavy, heavy into like other supernatural shows. So I started watching like, uh, what's his name? His name Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Charmed. With uh, what's that chick that's woke as hell now? But she was fine as fuck back then. Uh, Charmed. Thinking something Romano. From who's the boy? Milano. Alyssa Milano, she used to be fine as hell before she went woke and crazy. Um, but yeah, Charmed was fire. I used to love that show. I fuck with Charmed. Heavy. Heavy. Good ass show. The Power of Three. Cognizant of that, but as young adults and adults, you also have a responsibility when it comes to the media that you consume. Do not constantly fill your head with trash. Be very play. conscious about the biases and the attitudes that your favorite pieces of media have because they all have biases. And especially if you're a woman. Wait, if well, Michelle Obama tried to do that fake ass version of that. Remember <laughs> Michelle Obama had the kids, the fat kids working out on, uh, what's his name, on Nickelodeon? If you're watching these shows where all the- That might have been day of play. That might have been the same thing. Male characters are idiots. You're going to learn not to have respect for them. You're going to learn to have very, very low standards. And that's not a it good thing. You know, the, the reverse thing. goes to men. You want to watch shows that uplift you and teach you good things. Because like it or not, this media has an impact on you. So be very careful. Mm. Oh, she cooking. Thank really? you for watching the comments. I was about, what the hell? It's just creep up like very that? Very careful. Who pushed her? <laughs> Who pushed her? To that's crazy. Just slide it order, order. Bert Cooper gonna slide in your DMs like has an impact on you, so be very careful. Thought you sliding your DMs? What'd you do if Brett Cooper slid in your DM like that? Thank you for watching. Yo, that'd be hilarious. Oh man, this is funny. Um, yeah, I agree with her. Sitcom parents well, they didn't know nothing. They didn't know a damn thing back in the day, fam. It was like straight embarrassing.